Oh, hey, greetings. Lee Harder with you here from the T&D today. Uh, as you know, the Orangeburg County Fair in town continuing. Uh, we continue to bring you photos from the, from the fair, news from the fair. We'll do that throughout. Hope you enjoy the weekend there. News today also that Representative Russell Ott is going to hold another hearing on the proposed I-26 widening, uh, addressing concerns that he continues to hear there. Uh, 6 p.m. October 12th at Beulah UMC is his time. 23 new cases of coronavirus in our region. Um, again, uh, we continue to give you advice uh, in the sense of not from us, but from DHEC and other professionals about what they say about the vaccine. And uh, we'll continue to bring that to you. DHEC is continuing to sponsor testing and, and immunizations in our region at a pretty high rate. Uh, Thursday morning quarterback Thomas Grant previews this week's uh, Friday high school football. A full slate highlighted by Bamberg, Earhart, and Branchville, both undefeated teams, same region. Uh, game in Bamberg uh, should be a big time Friday night. I'll say Calhoun County has a big game this week too, and you can find a preview there today at thetnd.com and in print. Claflin's basketball teams, uh, they're going to look to do better than they were forecast to do in the CIAA. Uh, men pick seventh, women pick 12th. Uh, they, they may do better than that. Also today, we want to remind, our editorial today is an old subject that we have hit a lot of times, uh, the heat threat in cars. Um, just because it's fall, temperature is cooled a little bit, it doesn't mean that it doesn't get really hot in a car. Uh, you cannot leave children, you cannot leave pets, cannot leave uh, again, an old subject for an editorial, but still very viable, even as we get there now. All right. I hope you have a good evening and I'll talk to you Friday.